Fala. Hey, good, good, good to see you awesome. again. I need to know, right? Yeah. What was your reaction when you got that Marvel phone call that you've got the role? I was just in shock because I really didn't see it coming. It's not like I auditioned for it or, you know, I knew, you know, they're casting. We really didn't know they were casting at all. Um, and I've wanted to, you know, participate for a long time. I heard in the news, I've been tracking it. I emailed my agent about it. But we just need, didn't know when this particular film is casting. We've been talking to Marvel about my availability, but we had no idea what film they had in mind. Um, and then when the phone call came, it literally was just like, oh, we would like to invite Fala to uh, join us. And I was like, wait, what? What, what character? And they're like, um, we cannot disclose. We, we cannot let you know. And it's like, well, okay. That sounds, that sounds like a lot of Kevin Feige secrecy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just completely, um, yeah, it was just like an empty offer. Kind of like um, I had no idea what I was going into, but I knew at the time even. I was like, okay, we know the, I knew this, it, it was this film and I knew it's going to be great. So I immediately said yes. Um, and yeah, I, I celebrated with my husband with a bottle of wine and... Yeah, we were super happy that um, they they thought of me, I guess. <laughs> did you uh, know much about Shang-Chi before you filmed? Like, did you do any research? Did you read any comics? I did some research um, when they announced that they're making an independent origin film about Shang-Chi. And naturally being an Asian um, person, I I really was like super interested and I knew it would be a good like a good opportunity, but a big moment for all of us. I was really curious and I researched, um, but not till until I got the offer and started preparing for this role that I dug deeper into the character and the comic books and also kind of rewatched all Marvel films, you know, from the 2008 basically to all the way to now. Um, and, um, and I'm so glad that this story will continue to be part of the MCU, it will probably open, you know, a lot of other stories that that will showcase Asian faces. Um, and I think this will just normalize that, you know, we are part of not only our real world, but the imaginary um, comic world and um, fantasy world as well. Did you have to do a lot of uh, martial arts training? Because um, as a martial artist myself, I was watching the movie. I was like, yep, that's a front kick. That's a side kick. That's a hook kick. And I was like, <laughs> I, it's, it was like insane for me because I was like, OK, calm down. Just enjoy the movie. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much uh, training did you do? Because I noticed that you were doing Tai Chi. Oh, I think you will love Tai Chi because Tai Chi is kind of the the form that that looks so easy, but is actually really, really hard. Just like anything you do in life, right? Um, if you want to fake it and do it, you know, it's probably very easy, but if you want to do it really well, it's really, really hard. Tai Chi is exactly that kind of, um, you know, form that it has to look super soft, but at the same time, you have to contain a lot of power. Um, mm -hmm. And it requires a lot of core strength, especially in your lower body. Um, so I got a lot of not only Tai Chi training, but um, strength training my legs, um, a lot of um, flexibility training, because I had to, had to do a lot of kicks and flips and all of that. Um, so it was like a very intense over a month training, just, just training and learning my sequences. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed and, and fell in love with Tai Chi and I hope I practice more in my, my own life in the future. I was going to ask you, are you still kind of, uh, well, you're probably going to have time right now, but <laughs> I was going to ask you if you're still training. Are you still keeping up with it? Sometimes. I, I, re I really wish I, I could take like proper classes and, and spend time with some great teachers. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just play around in my backyard um, <laughs> doing some Tai Chi sequences. I don't think, I, I mean, I don't think a lot of people uh, have realized, but the whole film is centered around you. Right? Yeah. Like, the whole movie is about you. Let's let be real. Obviously, Chang Chi is the lead character, but story wise, um, I in my eyes, you played two different roles. You played the role of a wife and you played the role of a mother. Um, mm -hmm. Was there anything you did to prepare for that part of the character? And how deep did you have to dive to kind of bring that out? 
It was always kind of a finding, you know, it was a constant search for the balance between, you know, the fact that she's a warrior, she has, you know, she comes from somewhere um, that's very mysterious, but at the same time, you know, has a huge, you know, rich history um, that she carries some kind of, you know, mission in a way. And then there's this side of her that's her private family life where, you know, she meets this person and falls in love and have a family with. Um, just, you know, playing almost kind of like a, a superhero uh, at the same time of a, a human, you know, and just to kind of keep both of them alive in a way um, was very interesting to me. And I think, again, the training really helped me to kind of stay, you know, physically in that, you know, to contain that energy. Um, but at the same time, you know, when I was like, acting with the young kids and also uh, Tony Leung, we're just like people. We're just like humans, you know, family. And I really try, try to just focus on them as much as possible um, and just, you know, uh, enjoy the moment and be present. Um, but I think it's also, you know, not really my job to kind of decide what audience get to see, but I think Destin did such amazing job in placing her in the right places to kind of guide the journey of the story. Um, but yeah, when I was filming, I was just, you know, in the moment having fun. I know when you get into character, um, sometimes, especially as a family, um, you can get quite attached to your uh, fellow family co-stars. Yes. Did you get attached to the little, the young Shang-Chi and like, what kind of relationship yes. did you have with them? Because as in kid actors, you know, I constantly rate yeah. them because it's like they're doing an amazing job and amazing. Obviously. Yeah, I don't yeah. think the young Shang Chi's uh, got enough credit. Jayden, yeah, Jaden's so amazing. He's he. I don't. I don't know how he does it at such a young age, but he's so focused. He's always, you know, but you know, has that you know playfulness as a as a child. But he totally understood. You know, every bit of that, you know, character, you know, how, you know, as, at such a young age and looking at his parents and you know, what he father, you know, his father was doing and, you know, that that sadness and all of that, he portrayed it perfectly. And we really had a good time chatting around and I was kind of like his chaperone because, you know, his parents were like really nice people and they were just like, you know, have him, take him. Um, <laughs> so I was kind of like holding his hand, showing him the set and like, you know, just spending time with him. And Destin intentionally wanted that. So I got to spend a lot of time with him outside the story um, and got to know him really well. Um, and that kind of like foreshadowed my my motherhood, like, you know, in my own life. Um, I was like, oh, I can do this. I, I think I'm ready to be a mother. I, I actually really like kids. Because I was just like, I don't know what it is like to, you know, handle a kid like 24 seven. And I got to spend a lot of time with Jaden. I was like, okay, this is a lot of fun. I think I can Let, I Let's can hope your this. husband uh, isn't in the chat um, listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, lastly, I just wanted to ask, um, you worked closely with Tony Leung. Like, he's a legend. How did that feel? Were you nervous? Because like, dude, that's Tony Leung. Of course I was nervous. I was like blushing, not only just nervous, I was like blushing and my heart was racing um, because he's just so, especially, you know, when I was working with him, he's like all in full costume and he just looks so handsome and he's so charming. And I, yeah, just like, Everybody else I know, you know, everybody on set, including Destin, men and women, everyone just like fell in love with him. And like in, in life, he's so gentle and, and soft-spoken, almost a little shy. Um, sometimes you're just like, oh, you, you're the biggest star and you're the best actor in the world and you're just so humble. And he's always like, I'm not sure. How do you feel? Like, mm, I'm, I'm still thinking about the character. He's always thinking about his character and the story and um, the script. He's always just, you know, he's like, you know, I, I can have dinner with you guys, but I have to go back to my hotel and learn my lines. I'm like, you know your lines. It's, it's not a lie intensive film. Like, you know it, you can do it in your sleep. But he's like, oh no, I, I, I wanna practice, I wanna. So he's that kind of actor who just, you know, he's always just like, like to be prepared and um, very focused. 
Um, I learned a lot from him. Fale, it was so nice speaking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to see you again. Take care. Bye. Bye.